In 2016, Sailor and Crystal Season 3 came to an end, and it ended on a cliffhanger, and many of us were wondering, would we get a Sailor Moon Crystal Season 4? A few days later, which was surprising for Toei Animation, they announced that instead of a Season 4, the dream arc of the manga will be adapted into two separate movies. My guess, since the dream arc of the manga is 12 acts, the first um, movie will be the first six acts, and then the final movie, which has the most amount of action, will be the last six acts. And they announced that in June 2016. And then it took them three years to release any type of information. And they gave us the smallest of small teaser trailer, which essentially just introduced the new art style and used nostalgia by bringing back Moonlight Densitude, which was the opening theme song for Sailor Moon seasons one through four. Don't get me wrong. I liked how they wrapped in nostalgia, and I love the new art style, but it's so minimal that it leaves a lot to be desired. Now, I want to just quickly go through the animation because this is a trailer breakdown or a teaser breakdown, and it's such a small teaser. It's really unfortunate because you see, you don't see the animation moving, and I imagine it'll be very fluid, but, you know, the trailer is just, it's, it's dull. In, in my perspective, it's dull. But I got excited when I saw it because I'm like, oh, you know, let's see something new. And again, new animation is cool, but it's an it's a picture, not a full on video. And I think when a studio is, you know, going to market something, we need more than a picture. And since in 2019, we know that it isn't um, it doesn't take a studio a very long time to make an animated movie. And they've had years to make Sailor Moon Crystal season for the, you know, the movie for Sailor Moon Crystal, um, the dream arc, which is, as I said, called Sailor Moon Crystal Eternal. So to give no information beyond the fact that it's coming out in 2020, 2020, and that means it could come out in January 2020 or December 2020. My guess, if they want to be smart, is they will release the first part of the movie on January 30, uh, excuse me, June 30th, 2020, and then release the um, part two for um, Christmas time. And, you, you know, Toei Animation doesn't have to compete with the other big movie studios in America, such as Disney, Warner Brothers Universal, because, you know, they're a smaller Japanese studio, and they'll just essentially um, probably hope that Silver and Crystal does well, you know, on the ancillary market, which is streaming. And it that it did do really well for uh, one through three, I believe. So, you know, they're, they're probably not too worried about being in competition in the movie theater and making lots of money there. They make so much money in merchandise and whatnot. But anyway, I'm, uh, I'm going off track. So let's talk about the art style. So I really do like the art style here. It's very much a cross between the Sailor Moon Crystal animation of season one with the 90s animation really being the precedent. I think like the, um, you know, it's an updated form of art in the sense that this is what I think everyone would want Silver Crystal to look like. You know, we've had the 90s animation, we had the season one and two of Silver Crystal, and then we had season three, which I think used the 90s animation as a inspiration point, but it wasn't full on across like this animation is. And I'm very much blown away. I honestly think Sailor Venus looks the best of all these new of all the new art styles that we've seen. But overall, I'm very very pleased with what we have, and I just think the characters look absolutely fantastic. So that's a plus of the trailer. Like you know, they showed this brand new art style. It was very well received. I I can't imagine most fans would be hating on this art style. I mean, you know, the art style of season one and two of Sailor Moon Crystal was very very you know, criticized. The art style season three was praised, but then, you know, their budget, I think, was kind of low, you know, with all three seasons, and you could see major, major mistakes in um, all three seasons. Now, the last thing I want to talk about with this trailer, because it is a breakdown of the trailer, is I don't understand why Sailor Moon Crystal or Toei Animation isn't more adamant with its marketing. As I've said, they've announced this film back in 2016, and Captain uh, Brie Larson admitted that Sailor Moon was one of her biggest inspirations. And if I was Toei Animations in their PR department at all, 
I would be like, okay, so Captain Marvel, a very hyped up movie, which then made a billion dollars, you know, is saying that Sailor Moon is one of her inspirations. We should, you know, try to use that hype to bring people, bring new fans to watch this movie. And then, you know, to show the old fans that, oh, by the way, we're not dead because they hadn't, they hadn't released anything about this project in years. So I just think their marketing is very, very bad. And I do wonder when we will get an actual full on trailer, which will cause, which will let me do a better breakdown because this is just really breaking through the animation style, which again, I think it looks fantastic, but I mean, the plot of the dream arc, uh, the dream arc, excuse me, from acts one through six is, it's not dull, you know, but it's, it's essentially like moon, chibi moon, mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter. It's not that great. And then, you know, the remaining six acts um, focus on the, you know, bring the outers back. We finally get to see the outer super uh, transformations, which was completely denied from the Naya's animation. There's a lot of other um, really interesting things from the remaining six acts that will not be in the first part of the movie, which is my guess if they truly are going to break it up unless they decide to do a full-on two and a half hour movie, which will cut out pieces of the manga, but give us major plot points as well. So overall, I'm not impressed with the way the trailer is produced, but in terms of what we see out of it, I do like that. I think the art style is really cool, and that's that's what Toei has going for it, but I think their marketing is just very much a disaster. So I want to know what you guys have to say about the, the teaser trailer in the comments below. There's a link to the full-on trailer in the description. Just be, um, The only reason why I didn't react to it or play it is it just literally just shows these stills, and then it tells you again that it's 2020, which is such a long time away. So anyway, share your thoughts about the teaser trailer in the comments below. Thank you for watching my review of the um, images and the, my breakdown and whatnot. And I hope to talk to you all real soon about Sailor Moon Crystal. All right, guys. Bye.